how to submit a query. The system allows you to request for clarification or additional information which you may require during bid process. The system allows you to also keep the identity confidential regarding the query. It is your responsibility to ensure that query is submitted on the system before the expiry of the allowed time and date for submission of such queries as provided in the bidding document. Now click on documents provided in the dashboard. You are required to click on query next to the IFB. Query window will be displayed. Click on Ask Query. Enter title of your query, list of points that require clarifications or additional information, and upload any supporting document if required. Click on the Submit Query button after completion. You will receive an alert message on submission of the query. You may receive response to the query from the public body. You will be alerted by email on receiving a response. You can verify the response by clicking on Query. Alternatively, the public body may also issue a common clarification document, Gorigenda document, to the queries received collectively from all the suppliers. You will be alerted by email on such issuance of common clarifications. How to proceed with bid data, decryption and re-encryption. All bidders are required to complete bid data decryption and re-encryption after having generated and submitted the bid hash values in the system. If you do not complete this process, your bid will not be available at the time of bid opening, that is, you have not participated. You are required to complete this stage in accordance with the start time and date and end time and date as defined for this stage in the key activity schedule for the IFB. You are required to log into the system. After you successfully log into the system, you will see the dashboard of the e-procurement system. Now, click on Documents. After clicking on Documents, you are required to click on Proceed icon next to the IFP for which the decryption and re-encryption process is required to be completed. You will see a display of preview of your bid data for all the bid response templates in encrypted form. You will then be required to click on re-encrypt button on the page. A message will be displayed asking you to confirm if you want to proceed with re-encryption of data. Click on Yes button to proceed. A message will appear on the screen requesting you to allow the use of private key of the digital certificate of the authorized user from the organization. Click on Yes button to proceed. A message will appear on the screen confirming if the user would like to proceed with the process decryption and re-encryption of data. Click on Yes button to proceed. After the bid data has been decrypted and re-encrypted, the system will display a confirmatory message mentioning that the data has been decrypted and re-encrypted. You are required to click on Click Here to Continue button on the screen. After clicking on this button, there will be a confirmatory message displayed on the screen informing that the stage has been completed. Please note, once the user has completed the data decryption and re-encryption stage, unlike the bid preparation and hash submission stage, the user is not allowed to rework on this stage. How to view bid opening report and comparison statement. 
With the implementation of e-procurement system, the suppliers, at their choice, may choose to attend the bid opening event. As soon as the bid opening process is completed and the bid opening report is prepared by the public body, the participating suppliers will get an email alert. On receiving the email alert, the suppliers can log in to the system and view the bid opening report along with the comparison statement available for viewing for all participating suppliers. After you successfully log into the system, the user will see the dashboard for the supplier's organization. Click on documents provided in the dashboard. Next, click on preview alongside the IFB for viewing the opening report as well as comparison statement for suppliers. On clicking on the preview icon, you will be able to view all the templates of the IFP along with your own bid information. Use a scroll bar to navigate and view through the entire list of templates. To view the information provided by the public body in the bid opening report, click on the template Bid Opening Report. To view the comparison statement for suppliers generated by the system, click on the template CS for Suppliers. You will be able to view the information of suppliers having participated in the IFP in a comparative format. You may download this information by clicking on the icon. Thank you for watching.